I'm gonna show you guys a YouTube video then I wanna talk about it in a few minutes because it's just a trending, like really popular topic of discussion right now. Harris Heller, if you guys do not know, Harris Heller is the how to grow on Twitch guru. Literally the most trusted voice on all of the internet on how to grow as a streamer on Twitch. He left Twitch to stream on YouTube. Oh my goodness gracious. Chat, it happened. And I'm not even showing you this video, let me just make a disclaimer, not even showing you this video to tell you that I'm making an announcement or I'm doing something like that. But I just wanna, I wanna just kinda put a bug in your ear to kinda get conversation, wanna hear your thoughts. Happened just yesterday and I was like, we, we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. Let's watch this video. We'll have some conversation around it. Let's do it. Uh, I didn't even know I'd be making this video until a couple days ago. Um, but I just found out on Friday that Wednesday prior was my last stream on Twitch. Yeah. I've actually been planning this move for a while. I think it was like five or six months ago when I first told Twitch that I didn't want my partnership contract to renew. So that I could start streaming on YouTube. Oh, by the way, I don't think I've said that yet in this video. Yeah, I'm moving to YouTube. That's Woo! what this whole thing is about. Bro, that's such a big deal, dude. When the how to grow on Twitch guy moves as a big deal dude it's not a joke it's not a prank it's not clickbait it's big deal i am moving my live stream from twitch to youtube i will be streaming on youtube.com slash harris heller uh, link in the description below go subscribe do all the things and i want to make this very clear first thing in this video this is not a move against twitch i'm really gonna miss twitch i'm gonna miss the community i'm gonna miss the staff i'll tell you bleed purple man there is you know, there's a lot to say about what platform is better. There's a lot to say about business and decisions. There's a lot to say about whatever, algorithms, discoverability. But I will say this, man. Twitch has something so special. The emotes, the community, just the, the, the bleed purple. Can I get some bleed purple emotes in the chat? There is just something special about Twitch that no other company has been able to replicate. There is a special sentimental user experience that happens when a gamer watches on Twitch. And that that has yet to be uh, replicated. And just the community, I mean, like there is no like YouTube con, like there is, but not for live streamers, right? Like Twitch con is like, let's get all the streamers together. And so I, I really would love to see YouTube create that, but that is really hard to create. It's really, really hard to create. I'm gonna miss TwitchCon. Yeah. I'm not moving because I'm angry at Twitch for anything they've done or anything they've said. I'm moving because I'm excited about YouTube. And when I think about the content I want to make, and more importantly, when I try to imagine what content is going to be like in the next couple of years, what's gonna be the meta, YouTube feels like it's in the right place. Let me explain. Live streaming is one of the fastest new forms of content right now. Yeah. New, new forms of content. And I think in a couple of years, Almost all content creators will want to supplement their videos and their TikToks and whatever with live streams to connect with their audience. Similar to the way that Snapchat started stories and it was the only one that did stories, but it invited a new way to connect with an audience and more and more platforms started incorporating it and it became just kind of the norm across all of them. I think that's what's gonna happen with live streaming. That's the way I see live streaming working and any platform that only live streams is going to get left behind. But the interesting problem that happens crazy. that I've been seeing is that even if the YouTuber that comes over has millions of subscribers, they have a hard time getting more than a couple hundred viewers on Twitch. And in my opinion, depending on who you- And I know that you're like, well, a couple hundred, that's a lot of people. Yes, but the ratio, to have a couple million subscribers on YouTube and only be able to get like two, 300 viewers on Twitch. I mean, I mean that's, I mean, guys, I have a hundred viewers on Twitch and I have 3000 subscribers on YouTube. So the conversion rate is just, it's very difficult because Twitch is just its own unique experience that getting people to carry over is very difficult. Getting people to use a platform they don't regularly use out of their own free will is so difficult to do. You are, this can be a good thing or a bad thing. The way I perceive social media is you have this circle of platforms, right? All the social media platforms, you have YouTube in there, you have Instagram in there and Twitter and TikTok in there and everyone feeds into the other one. As you grow on one, you usually grow on all the others. 
And then you have sitting over here at like its own table, you have Twitch. Not a lot of traffic goes to Twitch, not a lot of traffic comes from Twitch. And that makes it kind of cool because it has like its own community with its own jokes and its own culture and it makes it very fun but it also makes it very exclusive. And usually if point, you're though. over there and you want to do any of point. these things, which anybody who wants to be a career streamer should want to do all these things. You see a lot of streamers starting YouTube channels. The problem is you, you kind of have to start from scratch because the same way I've seen YouTubers not be able to start a Twitch stream, I've seen massive Twitch streamers struggle to start YouTube channels. Yep. This bridge is just a really difficult one to cross. And for my own content, I feel- Getting people to go across both platforms for content is so, 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 so difficult. Like, so for example, right? I get like a thousand average viewers per day. When I say average viewers, I don't mean concurrent viewers. Concurrent viewers is the average number of how many people are, are watching you at any given time. So like, right, normally my concurrent is like 80 to 100, right? Basically like no matter what I'm doing, I'll get 80, like 80 ish views, normally like a hundred and I'm probably somewhere. Yeah, like some, some, I'm somewhere around there right now. So that's my concurrent viewership, but I'll get on average 700 to a thousand individual people that tune into my stream every single day, right? Every single day. And those people, some of those people will watch for hours, but on YouTube, the numbers are nowhere near the same because the bridge that he's talking about is just so difficult to get people to consume your content in multiple different places. Very, very difficult. I feel like as I put energy into this channel, this direction, it, it does nothing but grow this one thing and it doesn't really help me anywhere else. But when I imagine trying to build my career and I'm already asking you in these videos to go follow me somewhere else to go see my live streams, it makes so much sense to ask you to follow me on a place that has live streams and videos and shorts and be connected to all my other socials. I've been trying to start this content for so long, but asking people to go follow me on Twitch and on my personal YouTube just seems like I'm splitting it. I'm so excited to get all this stuff in one place and it just makes it just makes a lot of sense to me business -wise. And by the way, this isn't a sponsored deal or anything. YouTube's not paying me to move. In fact, the Hair Seller YouTube channel, as of filming this, it's not even monetized right now. This isn't like a short-term cash grab or anything. In fact, the first couple months after the move, I'll probably lose like five to $10,000 a month. Yeah, he's gonna lose a lot of money in the short term because once you deny that you reject that partnership, it, you lose all your subs. And so he was making a lot of money on subs and donos and stuff like that. He's gonna lose a lot of money in the short term and YouTube's not paying him. So he's making this decision solely because he really believes it's the best decision for him to make. This is a long-term business decision that I feel is gonna be the best for the content that I want to make. And it might be for you and it might not be for you, but I genuinely believe that this is the direction the industry is gonna go and I trust myself on that hunch. Oh, and as for the email that I mentioned earlier in this video and uh, in my tweet, uh, it was a weird email, kind of a weird situation in general. For the last month or two now, we've been asking Twitch when my partnership contract was going to end and they refused to tell us. They kept saying, if I wanna know when it's gonna end, I need to find my original partnership contract email and find it in there, which just frankly, was not going to happen. And then on Friday, I got this super inconspicuous email that didn't even say the word Twitch in it. I happened to open it on accident and it said, oh, by the way, your partnership contract is ending tomorrow. It was a little sketch. A little bit of a shock and kind of a weird way to do something like that, but I'm not mad about it. I'm actually, after processing it for a little bit and being able to think about it, I'm actually really happy that it happened. I've been planning on moving for a long time. Like I've been talking about starting my personal channel for a year and I haven't had the push to actually do it. I am doing so many things right now that it's been so easy to push it off and procrastinate and say, ah, oh, when we move, we'll do it. Or when we finish Senpai HQ, I'll make the move. And then here was an email saying, you're not a partner anymore. And, uh, so we're doing it. I actually think that was the push that I've needed for a while. So I am grateful to Twitch for giving me that push. I have needed this change. Change is good. And as always, happy, happy streaming. I love Harris Heller. He's a beast, dude. He is such a beast. So this is the new YouTube channel that he launched. He's got the same channel. Well, he'll put his pre-recorded content um, that, that he does like, product reviews, stream tips, all that kind of stuff. And then he just launched a new live stream channel 
where he is live streaming right now. He's got 1.7 thousand views. The reason I want to watch this video is obviously I want to have a conversation about it because I just want to kind of get your thoughts, get your perspective, because there's, there's no way to ignore this. It's it's this is the this is I don't want to say the biggest thing since, you know, Ninja and Shroud going to Mixer because that might be a little bit of a stretch because he's not Ninja or Shroud. But the reason this is such a big deal, because this is the how to grow on Twitch guy volunteering without getting paid, actually sacrificing his own money because he's going to lose subs, bits and all that stuff to be able to go over to YouTube out of his own free will because he is what thinks is best. Now, here's a deal. These kind of big moves normally start a wave. They start a wave. And so I want to get your input. Do you think the next wave is starting? We haven't really seen a wave of people going to YouTube yet. Even when Valkyrie and Courage got signed to YouTube, I don't, I, I don't think a lot of people moved to YouTube because I think people were still terrified from the whole Mixer thing. Like, and, and even though I don't think Mixer had shut down yet when Courage and Valkyrie were signing YouTube, but people saw people going to Mixer and then nothing really happening. So I think people were just, they were too afraid to burn the boat. Personally for me, you know, I'm not going to say like, am I moving or not? But personally for me, Twitch is still my personal favorite platform. They're still my personal, I love Twitch. It's just so much fun. Do I think Twitch needs to fix a lot with their website? Oh, 100 million percent, 100 million percent. No discoverability, no way for people to find my stuff. And honestly, here's one of the biggest flaws, okay? I get some of my Twitch clips to get hundreds of thousands of views on other platforms, but they'll have 20 views on Twitch where the clip was actually created. <laughs> So, like, I can take a Twitch clip, put it on a different platform, and it'll get hundreds of thousands of views. But where the Twitch clip was actually originated will have 15 views. So, uh, it's a big problem. It's a really, it's a really, uh, it's a really big problem. I definitely think that Twitch set the standard on what, like, a live streaming experience looks like. But if I will be, I will be honest, the problems that YouTube needs to fix are a lot easier to fix than the problems that Twitch needs to fix. I think the growth of a YouTube streamer is exponentially higher on YouTube than a Twitch streamer if, 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 if you are creating content on YouTube that is bringing people to your your live stream. If you're just gonna go on YouTube and just do what your streamers do and just go live and hope people show up, then I actually think you're gonna do worse on YouTube than you are going to do on Twitch because there is no, just like, like the YouTube, like scroll through the categories and find a streamer you like is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible on YouTube. Like, I've spent some time like, how do I actually find live streamers on YouTube? And it took me forever. And then when even when I found it, I was like, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like it. I have all, and I've said this for the past year, the last, you know, YouTube switch, people ask me, Susie, are you switching? I will always say that I am always more loyal to the mission than I am to any platform. And the moment that I feel that Twitch is no longer the number one platform for me to accomplish my mission, then I would consider leaving. Well, hope you guys enjoy this reaction video, reacting to the fact that Harris Heller, one of the biggest gurus on teaching people how to grow on stream, has now left Twitch and gone to YouTube. Such an interesting conversation. Now, here's the deal. Let me know in the comments below, do you think this is going to start another ninja shroud trend of massive amounts of people leaving Twitch for another platform? Let me know in the comments below. And friends, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, but also be sure to check out my live stream, twitch.tv slash Suzy Live, link in the description below so you can always check these highlight moments you can always check these recaps and just some hilarious moments in the stream friends all of you are beautiful i appreciate you taking some time to hang out with me we'll see you in the next one